classic lobster roll, which is going to be an East Coast lobster roll, you've got to have the roll. The roll makes the lobster roll, okay? So it's got to be a high butter content, a little bit less than a brioche, okay? It's got to be a split top, and by that, it's where you split it at the top. We have these made locally with OC Baking. Dean is the most phenomenal baker. He makes the perfect lobster roll. Just split, we split it right here at the top, okay? And then the key is, you want that side to be open so you get beautiful surface area that you can then toast again in butter, which we're gonna do here in a sec, okay? So the ingredients, you get a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of butter, or a lot of butter, okay, and your lobster. Now, funny enough, you use the whole lobster, but here in California, I was using the tail, and people were complaining, so what we do here is we use knuckles and a lot of big fat claw meat in our lobster roll. So, that's the equivalent of about one and a half lobsters, which is what we will use in our lobster roll and we're just gonna start, pull it together. It'll pull together in like a minute here. So we'll start with a little bit of butter, okay? And we're literally just gonna toast our, we're gonna toast our lobster roll and a little bit of butter. Just gonna get the butter melting until it starts to foam. It's gonna lightly foam and then we're gonna start to toast off our, our lobster bread. How many of these do you do a day? Uh, we sell about, we, we sell upwards of 200 lobster rolls a day on a busy day. Now, while the lobster roll is toasting, we're going to warm up our lobster as well. Lobster has already been, we boiled all the lobsters, we picked the meat out of them. So all we're doing right now is just reheating the lobster in the butter. You get some of that nice lobster flavor in the bread. What's your best technique for cooking a lobster? Best technique for cooking the lobster? I mean, boil for eight minutes. Really that simple. Um, you know, the key is you want to make sure you don't overcook the lobster because that's where it starts to get a little chewy. Do you use uh, any, anything special on the, the water? Like I mean, I just wine. throw a little bit, I throw a little bit of lemon in there, yeah, for a little acidity, but that's about it. this keep cooking here just toss this back in the bowl okay and we're just gonna let that keep toasting and then we'll go toss this uh, we'll toss this lobster up two types of lobster rolls you have a Connecticut lobster roll which is hot with butter and you have a Maine lobster roll which is cold with mayonnaise we've combined the two we do hot with mayonnaise there's already a little bit of the butter in there and then just a little bit of lemon juice Okay, I hit this with a little bit of fresh chives. Toss that up, get the nice juice in there. And now we just pack, that's it, it's that simple. Make sure you get the nice claw in there. Get a food porn shot, finish it off with some more chives. A little bit of our special spice. There you have it.